Oh, just tell us what it is. All right. So, <laughs> thank you. I said in the last uh, 10 seconds was that the Gemara is now is continuing to talk about the importance of Kama Torah. Yesterday, we learned that uh, Ezra had to wait in Bavel until the death of Baruch and Maria. Now we're saying that Yaakov was not punished for the years he was learning in, in Abraham's Yeshiva. So we got to prove that he learned in Abraham's Yeshiva, and we got to prove that he got punished, and we got to prove that he didn't get punished for those years. So that's three things Gemara's got to do, and that's going to take us to the parish. So the Gemara says, going on to Ahmed Amad Aleph and Amar, Lama Nimishno Sevshel Yishmael. Why does the target tell us that Yishmael died? He was 137 years old. We don't really care. Turns out all base of us. Who cares about Yishmael? The answer is for me, the Yachay Spench no Sevshel Yaakov. It's that we can figure out the age of Yaakov. He died, he's 137. We know that Yishmael was 14 years older than Yitzchak because the Siv. uh, Shtin Utlas. So now you do the math, and Yaakov is going to be 30, 63 when, uh, when Yishmael dies. So that's, uh, it takes 74, you get to 70, uh, 137, you get 70, you get 63. So now we have Yaakov at 63 when Yishmael is dying. So Tanya ha Yaakov in the Shash and Israel Yaviv, Ben Shish and Shal of Shana. So the Brisa assumes that Yaakov's age when Yishmael dies is the same age he was when he got the brothers. Boba Perak means Yishmael, because at the same time Yishmael died, how do we know that? So as soon as Yishmael realizes that uh, his parents do not like his Canaanite wives, he goes and marries the daughter of Yishmael. Why does Torah have to say that she's the sister of Nebaios? Because Yishmael's daughter, I can figure out she's Nebaios' sister. So who cares? So it's because uh, Yishmael died right for the wedding, and so Nevaios actually did the uh, the wedding. Fine. So now we know how old Yaakov was when he gets the brachos. Shin utlas the arbeisar ad mesiyalos. Let's figure all the years. So we have arbeisar ad mesiyalos yosef. So if Yaakov had gone straight to Haran after the brachos. Then uh, he would have had Yosef 14 years later because, uh, because Yosef is born. And then right afterwards, Lavan and Yaakov negotiate the additional six year, uh, six year contract exchange. So, ha, uh, Shiv and the Sheva. So that would have Yaakov being 77 when Yosef was born. Now, Siv, Yosef, and Shloshim, Shanabando, with Niparo. Yosef is 30 years old when he came to Niparo. So that's going to get Yosef to ha, Yaakov to Meva Sheva. Now, Yaakov would be 107. Shav the Shiva, uh, the, the Siva, the Tarki, the Kifna. So now you have the seven years of plenty and the two years of famine. Ha, may the Shitsa. So then that would mean that Yaakov showed up in, uh, in Mitzrayim and he was 116. But that can't be because how old was Yaakov when he showed up in Mitzrayim? So you're on Paral Yaakov, come and you say, Chayakov, you're on Yaakov, a Paral, you may name the Gurai, Shiva Gurai, Shloshim Umash Shana. So Yaakov is 130 when he shows up. So he should be 116, he's 130. Where are these 14 years? Uh, the shits are, uh, may have a shits are, I mean, she said he's 116. The 14 years he spent in Yeshiva, those don't count. So he was hidden in Ya'aver's house for 14 years. Aver mace, uh, sorry, mace, Aver 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 mace, and go back to Parshat Noah, check out everyone's uh, ages, you'll see that Aver died two years after Yaakov uh, leaves. Okay, you know what happened? Yatisham Balam Narayim. So now he goes to Narayim. Yim Sakshaman al Be'er, Ben Shiv Meshav Bishan. And that's now Yaakov is 77 when he gets to Haran. We know the Lamanish. How do you know that Yaakov? So now we prove the missing years. How do you know that Yaakov didn't get punished for those years? So Tani Minsi Yosef, Kishir, and others, Asim, Ushayim Shana. So ya- Yosef has gone from his father 20 years to change spirit Yaakov in the other. Just like Yaakov leaves his father 20 years. Yaakov, Boston, Shisa, uh, Shisa Havin. Right? So it would have been 22. Yaakov has gone for 36. 
Uh, being said, the Havah be Tzim, Adolcha Asher Gehu Tzim Si, that Yaakov is punished, he's not punished for those 14 years. So, so, the base Lavin, Esrin Shnei Nahavim, but wait a second, Yaakov is not with Lavin for 22 years, he's up for 20. So, so now, why is he getting punished for 22 years? So, Elam Yishom, Yishtai Be'urcha, Tatarkin Shnei, he's away on the road for two years, Desad, Desanya, Yatsam, Yavna, Rayim, Valo, Vesukos, Vasa, Sham, Shmona, Asa, Chodesh, he's there for 18 months in Sukos. And then Yaakov Nasa Sukosa, but even though bias will make new Asa Sukos, um, right? So Ubeisel Asa Shisha Chadash and Hikim Zachem is six months of Beisel, 18 months of Sukos, Haj and Allah Mizel Nikres. And let's go on to the next parak. I call it Asa. Ah, Ah, Kori Asa. Kori Asa Mizel Mafreya. Lo yatsa. So you read the out of order. That's not good. Got to read it in order. Kira al peh. If you read it by heart, Kira targum b'chol lach. You read it with targum in any language. Lo yatsa. I'm a current osa. The law is those the last, but that's a major uh, uh, fine print. You can read it to foreigners in their foreign language. Now lo is shama shuris yatsa. Someone who's a foreigner doesn't have Hebrew to heard it. Shama shuris. That is okay. Kara se rugin v'snamin. If you read it on an installment plan, because you or you can take a nap for five minutes, that's okay. Hekosa Dorsha Magia, as he was writing the Megillah, and as he was writing it, he was darshaning it, he was correcting it, repeating the Yasa and Lav Layasa. As long as he has the Kavana to Yosha the Mitzvah, that's okay. If not, not. Paisak to the Sam, who was sick of a Kumkum, the Kumkus, who Kankantum, we'll figure out what all these things are. There are different kinds of inks. Ahanir al Diftera, and Nir, we know it's paper. Diftera, we'll see what it is. Loya to Ashkei Suva Ashuris, al Sefer, Yo. That Ashura is a little bit uh, controversial because I thought we said you could read it, you could do it in any language, anybody. But uh, but it has to definitely be on on on, on cloth, Rashi says, and Dio, which is our classic uh, black ink. So now the Gemara asks, how do you know you can't read the Megillah uh, the Mafreya in, in, in the wrong order? After all, if you read it in a different order, you'll get the story. So why does it have to be in the right order? Dama Rabba Dama Kra Kichsavam Vechizvanam. Right, like it's written in the time. Mazan Mafreya, Lo, Af Sabam Mafreya, Lo. So just like uh, no one's, uh, uh, the time is not going out of order, so too the writing doesn't go out of order. So go ahead, hold on a second. Nidi Kriya Tsiva, Hacha Siya Tsiva. We're talking about, we're not talking about writing down a Megillah, we're talking about writing down that they should, that they should observe Purim. We're not talking about writing down a Megillah, we're talking about writing down the holiday. Right? It was written down, it was a decree to observe the two days of Purim. They were writing a Megillah over here. So, what is it we're talking about? So, Elam Hacha, Yechsev, Bayamim Ha'ela Niz Karim and Nasim. These days were remembered and performed. Iskiv Bechiru Lasiyah. So, we see there's links between remembering and performing. Ma'asiya, Lamafreya Lo, Ab Zechiru Lamafreya. This thing can't perform a perm in one order. Because time only goes in one direction. So, too, you can't write that order. Okay. Tara, Bechain Bechalel, Bechain Bechriya Shema. Uh, so Hal has to be in the right order, and Shema in the right order, and Shemesh so in the right order. So that's in the rest of Zah. So Hal means Allah, and how you know the Hal is in the right order? Rabba Mot Yitziv, the Mizrach Shemesh Amivo. That sun goes from east to west. It does not go the other way. Rabbi Yosef Amar, Zehayom Asa Hashem. Hashem made this day for us, and the day goes only one direction. So Avi Amar, Yishem Hashem Mivora, Meata Varola. So it's going in the future. Rabbi says is written, is is uh, said in the order. Uh, sorry, it has to be written, has to be done in uh, in Hebrew. So my time is ready. Oh my god. There you go. the uh, the 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 Right, so Torah says that you was bar ma'ila. So the Gemara makes this dasha all the time. The hayu, very very specific. It has to be exactly the way that they uh, that they are. The Rebbe says you have to say Shema in Hebrew. So the bottom of my time, I'm not sure. I'm time. I'm not sure. Shema. Torah starts off by telling you listen. So b'chol lashon shata shemaya. You can you can uh, say the Shema in any language that you understand. So now we have to say what are the different tanaim do the different perspectives. Uh, Rebbe, now you have to say Shema. Rebbe, uh, he does actually know that Shema Yisrael begins with Shema. So what does he do with that? Um, so he's right away. Hashmeya la aznacha ma shati moti b'ficha. I want your volume. Right, you have to be able to hear what you are saying in the Shema. Rabbanan Savri 
Command the Amar, Hakori as Hashma, but Lo Ishmila as no Yaku, a penance, say no problem. If you didn't hear your own, uh, yourself say Shema, that's, uh, you, that's okay. That's why they have the Shema uh, available to Darsh in foreign languages. What about the reverse? So, what do they do with that? This is Hebrew used to learn that, uh, that you can, that it has to be Hebrew. No, we buy a Shalo, Yikra, Lima, Freya. That is a source that has to be said in order. Right? It's not just uh, it's not just uh, that the preface the Hayu Dvarimaela, it's Hayu Hadvarimaela. These words you gotta do in right order. Rabbanan Zarm Hadvarim Lamashabu. Rabban are not impressed by darshaning the hay of Hadvarim. So they uh they 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 say that's out. Okay. Um Salema Kasava Rebbe called her Kula, the whole Lashon Nam Rasati. If Rebbe is saying that Kriya Shema has to be said in uh, in Hebrew, and that's very exciting. See, that means that the whole Torah uh, is uh, is said in uh, any language. So, this is like the Chalash Nakodesh Nemra, Lama Levim Bechav Zehayu. This is called the Shema Ki Rabbanon. So you might have thought that you could call this a Shema like the Rabbanon, therefore it's Chalash of Rachman of the Hayu. So, uh, so, so you don't think that, and, and Kriya Shema the Mitzvah of Kriya must be observed, must be said in Hebrew. We're going to pin down the Rabbana saying the Torah said Lashon Kodesh. He said that the whole Lashon Nemra love the rest of Shema. Why would I have to highlight all the Shema? You see it in language. It's just all the Chamina, the Hayu, the Rabbi, Kasa, the Chana Shema. Period. Right. So no, that's the Torah has to single out. So either direction, we cannot make general extrapolations from uh, Shema. So now we've learned that Shema has to be said in the right order, either from the Hayu or Hadvarim. We've learned Halal has to be done in the right order. From many of them, second halal, which refer to time. Last one standing is Shmona Esther. So now the, the Gemara is going to explain, and we're not going to do all of it today, we're just going to do a lot. Uh, why exactly all 19 dachas, 18 dachas, Shmona Esther are in the order that they're in? It's not random. Let's see. Hila, Minala, Sasanya, Shimon, Hatakuli, Hiskir, Shmona Esther, Dachos, Lifne, Rabban, Gamliel, Al Haseder, Yavne. So that's when they, uh, that's when they do the official final arranging of the order of Shema Esrei. Um, Rabbi Yochanan, Rami Lab, Matisa, Tana, they have the Esrei No, it, it, it goes other than that, it goes back to the Antichesa Gola, 120 Zakinim, the Ham Kaman of Yim, Tik Mishmon Esrei, Dachos, Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, it seems to be a difference. Tana Rabbanan, me nine Sha'om Rim Avos. So why do we start with, uh, with the Dracha of, um, with the bracha of Avos. What's going on? So, Shnamar, uh, Havu Lashem B'nei Elim. So, who are the, who are the sons of the mighty ones? So the mighty ones, the mighty ones are the Avos. So, uh, so that is, where is that in, uh, that's, that's the Hillim, Perkapes, Pasuk Aleph, right? Then what comes right after Pasuk Aleph? Minayin Shom Guru, Shnamar, Havu Lashem, Kavod Va'od, right? Just so, ascribe unto Hashem, uh, honor and, uh, might. So, that's, uh, that's the bracha of Gura. That's the second Pasuk. That's the second bracha of Shnamar. Okay, Sefer Atta Kadosh is the next, uh, is the next uh, pasuk, is, is the next bracha, because that's the next pasuk in the Parashat Dillon. Um, okay, Umaro Lomar Bina, Achar Kedusha. So the first three brachas are easy, they just go one, two, three, from Esther, uh, from the, from Dillon. Now, why does Atta Chonin come, come back? Namar, the Gishu Es Kedosh Yaakov, the Es, Okay, Yisrael Yarishu. We have the Pasha in Yeshaya, which talks about uh, giving Kedusha to, uh, to Hashem. And then what is that next in Yeshaya? The Samachle, the Edu Toe Ruach Bina. We want those who are mistaken to acquire understanding. So that's why Atachonin comes after Atachado. What's next? Hashigenu. Uh, so why is that there? Mara Lamar Tshuva Acha Bina, the Siv, Uvavo, Yavin, the Shav, Rafalo. Right, so that's uh, you know, once they once they once they understand, right? Once the heart understands, then they're uh, then they'll get tshuva. And the truth is, if you, the, the whole process is Hashem is telling Yeshaya, um, cover up their hearts because if otherwise they'll be tshuva. Um, yeah, I want to I want to make some mistake. The the parak above of Sefer Yeshaya really is is Yeshaya's first era of prophecy. That's where he gets the cutter, cutter, cutter. So I I think I heard from the Abarbanel. The reason why that's not the beginning of Sefer Yeshaya. Is because it's too scary in a wood to get the book with. 
because the Navi's well, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it is because the Navi's job always is to, to get people to do tshuva, and that Navi literally, as Hashem tells Yeshaya, okay, you're hired as Navi, your job is to block the people from doing tshuva to come to the punk. So I think, so I think, I think, yeah, I think it was the year of Uziah's earthquake. So I think, I think about Rabbi says that's what we're going to start with that, uh, with with uh, Yeshaya that parrot. Okay. So it's telling you something, right? Exactly. It's uh, hey, hey, Shabbos Hazon. At one point, we, we break out of a right? You know, it's a little, little, little break. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, so that's Hashidenu, right? Because 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 understanding is linked to uh, tshuva. So what's uh, so what's next? So Ihachi Lema Rufua Basa the tshuva. So the Gemara says, well, hold on a second. If that's the case. Then we should go straight to Rifainu because Torah said, uh, it's going to be healed. So we should go straight from uh, from Shuvah to healing. The one says, no. Well, well, sorry, that, is, that, that don't think that. So the Yashuv El Hashem, the Rachameu, the Elohim, the Yarbe, the So, uh, right, the Yashuv Hashem is going to have mercy on him. Fine. Umay Chaz is the Samich, Aha, Samoch. So, uh, ah, Hasan, Krafina, Hasan, Lech, Lacho, Avonaiti, Harofe, Lacho, Haf, Loichi. So, right, so that's why you have to have Slicha. So, so, Tshuva is not linked to the Fua. We have two people telling us that instead we should link uh, Tshuva to Slicha. So, that's why Slach Lanu is going to be next up. Okay, now I would have said, uh, so you have Slach Lanu, but for sure we should have Rifainu right after Slach Lanu. So why not? Why do we have uh, the Tabbat Shifra Gadol afterwards? Why the Bracha of Gula? So well, the answer is because that's the Pasuk, right? Hagoel Mishnas Chayif. So right, so that's good. The name of the Gula Rufua Basar Lichahi. So that's why you have redemption and healing. First, I'm going to forgive you. You know, small step. First, you get forgiven, and then you get redeemed. Okay. So Hatsi Veshavar Rafalo. Okay, but you know the Navi did say probably they'll they'll return and be healed. So hahu lav refua de kafluim he that's not that's not healing from illness elder refua de sleep that is the spiritual healing of being forgiven so that's how it's been forgiven and then they can be healed okay so maro lo magulu de shviyas but still so why is the kabbalah so far seven so maro lo magulu de shviyas but still so why is the kabbalah so far seven so the seventh year of the shviyas cycle so that's okay so that's this year the shviyas kavu of the shviyas that's why it's the seventh bracha you want to hold on a second so maro the shishis uh, the Rashish is Kolos. There are going to be thunders in the sixth year. The Shviyas Mochamos and the wars in the seventh year. Umotzi Shviyas Ben David Ba David Ba Mochamos. Right? No? No, sorry, sorry. David Ba. That was in the Kram. The Mashiach is in the Kram in the eighth year. So why are we saying the Gula is in the seventh year? The one says, ah, Mochama Nami, here's the line, Aschalta de Gulahi. The war is the beginning of the redemption. Okay, so Gemara says that's half the Gula is one year. So, you know, okay. Mara Lomar Rafua Vishvinis. Why did it say that Rafahina was the eighth Bracha? So, Amar Rabbi Acha Mito, Shinitna Mila Vishvinis. So, we have Brit Mila, Mavav, in year eight. Shitricha Rafua, Rafiha Kavu Vishvinis. Okay. Mara Lomar Bercha Sashana Vishvinis. So, why is the Bracha of Barech Alenu number nine? Amar Rabbi Alexandri, Kineged. Mafie Sha'arin. So this is to fight against those who, who charge uh, rip off price. The Siv Shavor Zeroa Rasha. So David says, right, we're going to break the arm of the wicked one. So what does that have to do with the ninth Rafa? Well, what parak is that in Tehillim? And look on the side, that is uh, no, the tenth Rafa. No, what are you talking about? So David the Amra, the Shia Samra. Why is that? Why is it the ninth Rafa? Why is that the ninth Rafa? In terms of Shmina, see, so Rasha is, uh, you're actually going to ask that question. Asha, and thank you. Asha, Rish, Gagayim, Karti, Park So that's really, that's the one, that's the two. So the tenth is really the ninth. Okay, so that's why Baruch Alayna was there in the ninth Bracha. To have in mind anybody with you off, we dive in that we should get a Barnasa and they should get broken. Awesome. Um, Ma, Ro, yeah, yeah, it's Tom. Uh, yeah, Shavor, Zor, Rasha. And they say, what is that? And you say, never mind. So Umaro Loma Kibbutz Goliath Acha Berk Hashanim. So then, why do we go on to uh, to to Kibbutz Goliath? So exactly. So um, so the Siv that Hem Hare Yisrael Anachem Kishlu. So we're gonna give uh, give us uh, branches. We pray them as we sow La Am Yisrael. So this is talking about Parnasa, right? Kirvu Lavo. The Kibbutz Nitzkab to 
Galios, Nasa Din Brishoim. Now after there's a few of Galios, then you have the Peros, and then you have the few of Galios, then you have the Din Brishoim, Snamar, the Shiva, Yadi Alaya, the Throf Kivor Sidaya, the Siv, the Shiva Shatak Kavrishana. So that's why we're talking about the Gaula, and then we say, the Sag was purified, and then he's going to bring back our judges. Okay, Mr. Nasa Din Bin Arishoim, Kalu Aposhim, the Kol Zibi So I guess that's why we're going to have the Malshinim, because once you have the judges uh, back in the uh, right, so back in town, so they'll, they'll handle all the same things. Namar, the Shever Poshim, the Chatarim Yachta, they break the wicked ones. The Kim and Shakalu Aposhim, Mitzramas Karen Tadikim, as soon as the wicked are gone, so the pride of the Tadikim will be risen up. That's why we have Allah Tadikim after the Malshinim, the Siv, the Chol Karni Rishayim, Agadea, cut down the pride of the, of the wicked, the Sromemna. Karnos Tzadik, so that, that's going to be uh, that's going to rise up. Right? The Kolel Gerei Hashtadik. So why do we why do we put Gerei Hashtadik there with the Tzadikim? Nema the Pnei Seva Takam the Hadar the Pnei Zakin. That's uh, you stand up for a person to uh, honor the face of the Zakin. The Samachle Yagor Itchem Ger. So we have the Zakin and the Ger next to each other. That's why in Alat Tzadikim we got we do we give a bracha to both. Where is their pride going to rise up? The Yerushalayim. That's why we have Yerushalayim after all of these. Namar, Shalom, Shalom, Yerushalayim uh, is a little Avaya. Right? So finally, uh, the last one, the king's name is Yerushalayim. So that's uh, about David. Then we have that Sema, Namar, uh, yeah, let's come and say a couple times. Namar, Ah, Yeshu, Yisrael, Ubiqshu, that's a Samuel Kahan, the S, David, Malcolm. Okay, so let's uh, pause here. We don't want to go out.